Prosecutors are building their case against three white men charged with the killing of 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery, a black man. You remember this story. We've been following it very closely on CBS this morning. Actually, everybody's been covering this story. Video released in May, more than two months after the shooting, shows that Arbery was just jogging in Brunswick, Georgia. Investigators say the three men followed and cornered him, and then one of them shot and killed him. Omar Villafranca conducted the first in-depth network TV interviews with attorneys on both sides for this week's 48 Hours. It's got nothing to do with whether Mr. Arbery is white, black, or Martian. Attorney Kevin Goff says his client, William Roddy Bryan, was minding his own business at home on February 23rd when he saw a truck he recognized pursuing a man he didn't. So he says Bryan got into his own truck and began following as, quote, any other patriotic American would have done, end quote. He's never been more than a witness uh, to this shooting. We think he's an active participant. Prosecutor Jesse Evans says the evidence shows Brian did willingly help two other men, a father and son named Gregory and Travis McMichael, pursue and corner Ahmad Arbery in a waterfront neighborhood in Brunswick, Georgia. Brian was filming when Travis McMichael killed Arbery with three shotgun blasts at point-blank range. Any single shot was too much, and just merely pointing that shotgun at somebody was too much. Getting in pickup trucks and chasing Ahmad Arbery down was too much. This whole case is too much. But Travis McMichael's lawyers, Bob Rubin and Jason Sheffield, say the video shows Ahmad Arbery was the aggressor that day, not Travis. He's being attacked and overwhelmed by Ahmad Arbery's strength. And he has to either fire that gun or lose his life at that point. That's going to be your defense. That's what happened. They say Travis McMichael was afraid. Even though Travis has a gun and a vehicle and Ahmaud Arbery has two legs. You still can be afraid while you have possession of a firearm. Clearly the people that started this were Greg and Travis McMichael. When they make that choice that they're going to grab um, guns and take the law into their own hands, uh, that, that's when this crime starts. It doesn't start at the end of this, this um, whole progression out in the middle of the street. Roddy Bryan and the McMichaels have pleaded not guilty in the death of Ahmad Arbery. Omar, this story is still so painful for many people watching. You've been covering the story from very, very early on. What do you think happens next? Well, right now, the three men who were accused of this, they are still in jail. They're waiting for their trial. But, Gail, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so we don't know when the trial is going to start. There's going to be jurors. They haven't even called the jury pool, so it's anybody's guess when this trial is going to start. As for the Arbery family, they're just trying to keep his memory alive. They don't have to worry about that. A lot of people never forget Ahmad Arbery. Thank you very much, Omar. You can watch Omar's report, Justice for Ahmad, on 48 Hours, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.